Hey everybody, what's going on and welcome back to an episode of our Pokemon Y Rotation Lock. If you guys are brand new to the series, all you gotta do is go down in the description down below and there's a list of all the rules of what makes a rotation lock a rotation lock. For everyone else, welcome back to another episode. I hope you guys are excited. If you are, leave a like down below and as well answer the question of the day while you're at it. And we're going to jump into things. Now, last episode, guys, we did go ahead and we very swiftly defeated Viola. And we got our first gym badge, which means it was time for us to swap our team and get a brand new group of six and move along in our journey. So, if you guys are ready to see the new team, here it is. Boom. Fennekin, Pidgey, Tentacool, Butterfree, Pancham, and Wizmer. Now, of course, some of these have names, but because they're traded, I can't change their names, so whatever. Um, but yeah, so there's our new team of six. Um, I did go ahead and train them all. Of course, I feel like it was a little, a little cheap to have a level 16 Brixen, essentially. So I only got Fennigan up to 14 because that was our first slot member. And yeah, so that is the new team. We're going to move along with them. And of course, if you guys uh, basically remember... We'll have them until we just defeat the second gym, and then we'll have a brand new team of six. So, I'm trying to remember where the heck to go. What is this? Oh, that was like a little cafe thing. I think we just go up this way. Uh, looks like it. Actually, before I forget, um, I was in a grinding session, which you guys can catch that at the end of the episode. I'll probably put it there. Um, yeah, you guys can catch that there. Um, that's where I'll put it. So, sweet. Um, I think, oh, let me also turn off the XP share, I think. Um, well, I'll just leave it. Eh, whatever. We have some level 10 mons, so at the very least, we can always get them some levels. Um, but yeah. Excuse me, by the way, if I look super tired or if I yawn during the episode. Um, as I say that, I'm probably about to yawn. Um, it is like super early. It's only like 7 a.m. right now. Uh, and I have a lot of things to do today, so I had to get this recording like done. I would have done it yesterday, but I didn't have time. And I have a lot of things going on today that kind of came out of nowhere, so. Yeah, I did, I had to record super early today. I feel like we should battle some of these trainers, but we clearly didn't run into them. Um, oh, well, you can at least fight here. I'll grab that Pokeball, actually. I want to do that. Hey, hey, listen, I'm going to win this battle. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. But yeah, like I said, it's just like super early. So forgive me if I yawn or if I just look super tired or my eyes are bloodshot or something. I don't know. Um, yeah. It's just super early. I literally just woke up like, I don't know, a half hour ago. So, yep. Ooh, oh, I forgot we have flame charge. Uh, yeah, let's just do it. Let's do some flame charge action. Why not? Well, by the end of it, I'm pretty sure we're going to have a, a breaks in. Uh, the rest of our team, I think, stays the same. Because we had a Caterpie, which evolved when I was grinding it. Um, and now it's a Butterfree, so... I don't think anyone else really evolves. I mean, we have Tentacle, but that's like level 30, and I doubt we're going to get that. Because um, that guy's so annoying and like difficult to train up, dude. I don't know if you guys have tried to train one up before, but it's obnoxious. In case you didn't know. Just in case. Floet or Flabebe, whatever. They're the same thing, right? <laughs> uh, we've, this is actually kind of nice, though, because we're getting some decent... Um, de God, we're so overleveled. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine. See, so yeah, again, I could have gone up to 16, um, but I didn't. I felt like it was a little too ridiculous. So I only went to 14. Um, I feel like that was least fitting because we had like a level 13 Fletchling going into the gym. So uh, I just went with level 14. Uh, and of course, we have the EXP Sharon, which is very nice. And we're going to run into Pokemon a lot, apparently. Clearly. Very clearly. A Lettyba. Letting isn't bad. You know, I was kind of thinking like, oh, what happens like if I was in a grind session, if I run into a shiny or something? I think I would catch it, but I wouldn't use it. But I would at least catch it, just so I have it. I mean, because this game, again, it's like the totally normal game. We're just running a rotation lock out of it. So it's like every Pokemon's legit, so I could just catch it if it's a shiny. Ah, <sighs> Fan Gabe, Pokey Fan Gabe, got a Pichu. Sweet, I suppose. But yeah, we actually have a decent team this time. I mean, no offense to the first team, it's special because it was the first team, but we actually have like a team this time. Um, 
You know, like we actually have mons that we can use in a lot of scenarios. Like we can use pretty much our whole team. I don't think there's really a scenario, or at least a, pink, a Pokemon on our team that we really don't want to have to use, because I think it's a pretty good team that we want to use, you know? Flame Charge. I don't think we'll get static. We might get staticed. Please don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, God. No. No, Fan again. Is it playing nice? Is that what it just did? Did it just play nice? How dare you play nice right now? Come on, Ember. Come on. Come on, Fennekin. You can do it. You can do it, Fennekin. Come on. You know, if they just had, like, a better final evolution for Fennekin, I probably would have used Fennekin in this generation. Well, I can't say that. If I... Hmm. If I play... Maybe, like, my second run through. Because I still would have done Froakie. Because I always like the water starters. That's always been, like, my thing. But maybe if there's, like... I don't know. Just kind of... I don't know where I was really going with that. I was just gonna say like Venic can probably be the second best starter in this region if it just had a better final level. And again, I, I totally get it, like what they're going for. What are, what are you two? What are you two? Hello? Hello? Hello there! Ever heard of a Pokemon called Flibebe? I may have just run into one. Oh, I see! It's registered in your Pokedex. Yeah, good for you, genius. That's what I would expect from one of the professor's hand-picked Pokemon trainers. The baby is now brace yourself a fairy type Pokemon. Oh my god. Oh dude, I forgot how big of a deal it was when that came out. This turned the entire type matchup system on its head. I mean, really? And we've been battling fairy type Pokemon against other types of Pokemon at Professor Sycamore's request. My name's Cena. It's a beautiful name for a beautiful lady. Keep turning. <laughs> That's mean. That's mean. No, you're she's fine. I'm Dexio. Two years ago, Professor Sycamore entrusted me with a Pokedex. You can call me a Pokemon Voyage Veteran. If you like, I'll show you the way to the lab, so come along now. Um, sure? Okay, let's get the show on the road. I mean, if you guys really want... I mean, sure? That was a quick route. I'll come back here, off screen, and like do some training, I'm sure. I'm trying to think where the... Or the next gym is. So how are you and Fennekin getting along? The more you walk around with your Pokemon, the stronger your relationship. I mean, we kind of just got to know each other. Here, this is the TM for return. This is a move that gets more powerful when your friendship with the Pokemon using it is strong. Hey, that will not be helpful at all unless we magically bring back a team member <laughs> for another gym. Oh, jeez. I mean, if you guys just want me to walk in first. Yo, isn't there like an initial? Yeah. Oh, you can see the, uh, oh god, what's the name of the tower? Is it the Lumio, Lumios Tower? Lumio City Tower? No, it can't be that. What's the name of it? I know it's the gym, but what's, like, the actual name of the tower? I'll go ahead and wait in front of the lab for you. Follow her that way to the lab. I mean, sure. Which one? Oh, no. I mean, I suppose the building with the Pokeballs would be the one with the lab, huh? I'm gonna actually go to the Pokemon Center because I think there's right over here. Yeah. No, that's the cafe. Where is there a Pokemon Center? I never really like this angle that it gives you. I never really like that, to be fair. Uh, here it is. Oh, you got a cross? No, I don't. I don't. No, leave me alone. I was trying to go. No, I don't want to. Forget you. <laughs> I was trying to come over here. Jerk. Jerk. How could you do that? It's rude. It's so rude. Heal the team. There we go. Alright. Even though it's kind of a waste of a heal, but might as well still do it, you know? So. Alright, now let's go see what she wants. Let's get this out of the way. Let's go. You traveled a long way from Vennyville Town, but you're finally here. It wasn't that far. The professor can't wait to meet you. You can find him on the third floor, so hop in the elevator. I mean, sure. Sure. Isn't there items actually around this lab? I think there is. Third floor. It's a weird, weird elevator. It's like exposed and everything. It's just very weird to me. Very weird. Sup, dude? Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. So we finally meet. Maybe. Perhaps. Fantastic. You're here. Come this way, won't you? No. 
Indubitably. <laughs> Many thanks for coming all the way from Vennyville Town. I'm Professor Sycamore. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. How is your Pokemon journey going so far? Have you met many different different Pokemon? Fantastic! Let me see a quick look at your Pokedex and see. I mean, I have a kind of a decent amount of Pokemon. Hmm, so you've seen 47 kinds of Pokemon in Central Kalos then. So Pokemon can be hard to find. Keep searching in the tall grass. I'm sure. Well now, you do have a certain... Genesuasqua. Oh, jeez, no. That was terrible. I have a good feeling about you. At first, I was thinking of choosing only one child from a town when I was deciding who to give a Pokemon. Bro, why you gotta go into this? I just woke up, man. <laughs> it's too early for me to be having to figure this all out. And Vennyville Town is going to be the child of a veteran trainer I know. And then I learned about the Rhyhorn racer, Grace, and her son were moving here. Here in the Kalos region. You're far away from everything you used to know. That really hit me. Where, where is this character from? Kanto? Johto? Sinnoh? Hoenn? I feel like they would Hoenn. Like, why not drop some hints? Because this is before Oras uh, came out. Hi, Professor. It's Shauna. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Fantastic. Let's all have a Pokemon battle. Your opponent shall be me. Wait, what? 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 I mean, sure. Yo, are you going to have the grass one? Because I went with the water starter. I'm just so you know, I'm not that tough. Good to know. Yeah, is he actually going to have a, a, the grass starter? Because I went water? He, well, not the grass. Well, not this region's grass starter, but I suppose that's the grass starter. Well, or did oh wait? Didn't does he have all the Kanto ones? Do we get the Kanto one like right away? Mm. Well, that's something. <laughs> Sixteen. I wasn't even trying, and it just happened. Please tell me everyone else got experience. Uh, Squirtle, uh, Switch. Who do we have? Who do we have? Who do we have? Who do we have? Let's go to Butterfree. Let's go to Butterfree. Butterfree can do something, right? Yeah. Let's go to Butterfree. Let's do it. It's a level 10 Squirtle. Like, what is it going to have? Water gun? Um, confusion. By the way, I love how one of the Pidgeys I have says Dappy Wonder Trade. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's wonderful. I love it. I assume it was just like it's a troll Wonder Trade, but I don't even know if it's like. I don't know. I don't know. I assume it was a troll Wonder Trade because it doesn't have like anyone important's OT. Bro, what are you doing, bro? Chill over there. Chill with your water gun, man. And take the L. There you go. Boom. Now what? Charmander? I wish I could actually use the Pokemon that we get. Because I'm pretty sure we actually get one from him. Uh, yeah. Or switch. We'll go to... Not Tentacle. I wish I had a fire move, but it doesn't. Um... Hmm. Let's go to Pancham. We can arm thrust. Let's do it. I'm down. I'm down. Pancham has arm thrust, so let's do it. We hit like five times. I mean, right? I mean, I'll take that. Arm thrust. Boom. Ember. No, we'll be fine. That did a little bit more than I thought. Well, no, I guess that's fair. All right, hit like five times. Two times. You suck. Alright. <laughs> uh, let me go to Fennekin, actually. Again, dude, Fennekin's just so overpowered. It's ridiculous. I wasn't even planning on Actually, it's going to evolve this battle, too. We're about to have a break soon. Jeez. Kidding me? Are you kidding me with that? Alright. Uh, we could flame charge or scratch. Let me just flame charge. And he, <laughs> we miss. Uh, accuracy is such a hack, man. Come on, come on, do like half. I'll take it. I'll take it. I will take it, dude. Stop with the smoke screen. Are you serious? Are you serious? Where are you even getting the smoke from? Like, come on, stop that. Oh, 
No, Fennec, you're supposed to do more. You're supposed to do more damage. What are you doing? Land another scratch. No. <laughs> Fennec, what are you doing? Come on. No, stop that. W will you stop over there with your status chain? Dude, this is why I hate. This is exactly why I don't like early game in Pokemon. I absolutely hate stat change moves. I absolutely hate them. Like, it's one thing if you use a move and it has like the bonus effects, like ancient power or whatever. But like, I hate growl, I hate smoke screen, like I hate accuracy drops and just like, dude, all they do is spam it and then half the time they confuse you. And now we're getting an evolution and sure, why not? Evolve, go ahead, you do your thing. I'll let you have your moment, okay? Screen's all yours, take it. He's just a glowing white ball. So, anyways, moving on from the glowing white ball. Um, yeah. There you go. Got breaks in. The last decent member of that evolution line. Still, eh, still eh, but, oh well. Didn't actually learn anything? What? I think I figured it about, I think I've about figured it out. Figured what out? Hungry, you are an interesting Pokemon trainer indeed. It'd be fantastic if you took another Pokemon with you. Here, pick one. Oh, jeez. Well, I just happen to bring up my, the, the, my past history of starters. And I'll be honest, when I first played through this game, I went with this guy right here. Because I, I wanted the Mega. I'll admit. I just never cared for you. Like, there's times I just didn't like you, and there's times I liked you. I never cared for you. You, my boy. So, even though I won't be able to use you, I, I, come here. Come here, Squirtle. Come here. I, you pick Squirtle then. I see. That's simply wonderful. Your party is full. Please. No, I don't want to. Are you kidding me? Alright. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to send Winsmer just in case. Jerk, I don't want the squirtle on my team. Jerk. Would you like to give No! Screw you! <laughs> give me this mega stone. Alright, that's cool. I'll take that. I will take that. Um well, we are gonna have to go swap out our Pokemon. Come now, you two, pick your Pokemon. I don't know which one to pick, it's so difficult. Yeah, well guess what? Too bad. Just do it. Well I've got a feeling everyone else will show up soon. What is he like? A psychic? What? Yo, yo, put a, put put a uh, put him in a blue outfit and give him a blue hat and boom, Professor Sycamore is an aura guardian. Boom, Sir Aaron is real. Theory confirmed. Power of aura is real. <laughs> is with him. <laughs> Hi, Professor Sycamore. What's this? Everyone is already here. See. Wonderful, everyone's all here. Too I don't want to be here. So now that we're all here, I'd like to say a few words. Be the best trainer you can be! At the same time, remember to have fun traveling with your Pokemon. Also, I want to ask you for your help in solving the Kalos' region's biggest Pokemon mystery. The secret and potential of Mega Evolution. A new kind of evolution that occurs in battle. That's why I gave you that Mega Stone just now. It's an important clue. Mega Evolution? What should we do about the Pokedex? Trevor, my lad. That's what best trainer means to you? Then I want you to go out there and complete that Pokedex. Mega Evolution sounds really interesting. If you're in, if you're investigating Mega Evolution, why don't you check out Camp for Your Town? That town has a lot of history. You might find a hint there. Okay, can we can we move on? Can we move on? I got things to do, bro. Like, are we all right? Bye, all of you. Is there items in here? I feel like there's items in here. Apparently not. Bye, all of you. Jeez, you guys are obnoxious. All right, first floor. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Cause now I have to go change my team. <sighs> why, can't, why can't you just send it to my PC, dude? Oh, what's that orange-haired dude? So I will be able to meet them soon, then. Yes. The children chosen by the professor. I wonder what potential they have. And here's one of them now. That's hungry. Hungry. Come here. So, uh, okay, sure. Why not? Oh, you received a Pokedex from, from the professor. How wonderful. That is a wonderful thing indeed. You are one of the chosen ones. I am Lysander. I try to learn as much about Pokemon as I can to help build a brighter future. Professor Sigmore has taught me so much. Oh, I see you have a hologram. Okay, can can we move? T 
look, man, I'm not here to do a just read your monologues. I'm sorry. That's not what I'm here to do. I wonder what kind of beautiful world this is under desires. Uh, you don't want to know. In the big, big Kalos region, there are many different Pokemon. All right. Are we finally done? Are we finally done, everybody? Think no, we're not done. Hungry, there's a place I want to go check out. So I'll see you around. Okay, bye. Thanks. Thanks for telling me something not important. There's something I want to tell you, talk to you about. I'll be waiting for you in Cafe Solois. Neighbor. Uh, neighbor? I mean, sure. I wonder what Serena wants. I mean, you'd want to know, wouldn't you? Why couldn't she just use a holocaster? No clue, but it seems hush hush. I'm sure you two are very jealous. <laughs> hey, Hungry. To get to camp for your town, leave the lad, turn left, and go straight. That Cafe Solo Serena was talking about was over that way, too. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Well, now... Dude, what? Oh, my God. I forgot how many, like, cutscenes there are. And monologues. The Mio City may be very large, but if you stay in the main streets, you shouldn't get lost. I'm gonna go on a little walk. The streets sure wind and wander here. Alright. Just so you know, Camp for Your Town and Cafe Solo are over this way. Okay, cool. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Well, we're here in Lumio City. There's what's her face right there. I okay, I can't control the camera angle. There it is. Okay, just that little bit, man. A little bit. All right, but anyways, we're here in Lumio City, and we're at the Pokemon Center, and we can call it here because I'm tired of monologues. And I got a lot of things going on today, so I'm sorry guys, but we're going to call it a little short, but we made it here to Lumio City, and I'm going to have to put the Squirtle in the PC and get Wismer back on the team, and yeah, that's about it. So, if you guys have enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below, because it does help out a lot, and answer the question of the day while you have it, because it's uh, always fun to do so. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, once again, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.